The Crown Clue Wish Banner is Genshin's newest banner and I believe that Genshin is trying out this system in rotation to see if people would actually invest in such an endeavor. That it finally is in the game, I thought I would try my best in trying to get a weapon from the chronicled whip. Within the banner there are options you can pick for your chosen path. When you pick your chosen path, you get to go for a 50-50 with your next to be guaranteed. Now is banner actually good or is Genshin creators playing you for a fool trying to collect your prima gems with no remorse? I decided to go ahead and start it up and here is what happened. Right, so let's talk a little bit about how this weapon banner actually works, or just banner in general, not weapon. We are going to be summoning a weapon here. We're going to be using these, uh, this banner for the Beacon of the Reed Sea. Now, this banner allows you to pick one of these characters, get a fate point, and after you know confirming your selection, for example, this, you know, this weapon right here, um, we have a 50-50 and then guaranteed on the next one. You can cancel it by doing that real quick, and then you can pick any other character or weapon that you want. Now, if we go over here to the details real quick, we are going to be seeing that this is pretty much like every other banner, but it is a much, much worse weapon banner. Um, I don't, it, because weapon banners are usually 80. Um, you get 80, you get, uh, you know, a guaranteed 5 star. This one, it's 90. Even for the 5 star weapons, you still get, you, you need 90, which is unusual to me. It doesn't say that it follows like, you know, the weapon banner style. So that is, that is something to consider. Sure. It is less, you know, you need less fate points to guarantee, but that is something to consider when you are summoning on this banner. So either way, you're going to have to go all the way to like 180 to guarantee yourself an actual weapon, which is still close to, I don't know how many you need for, for the actual weapon banner. It's like 210 or something like that. So. It's still kind of close. It's better, but it's still kind of close. Now, this banner is also silly because it has, you know, other things, but we're going to talk about it later. Right now, we're just going to be summoning for the beacon of the Reed Sea, and I'm very excited. This is how it went. Um, I'm going to have to use all my summons on this, which is silly. Quite silly. I'm going to go for it. Anyway. See if, uh... Is freaking Barbara? Hello? Hmm? And what's nice about this is um, I can get um, you know, Stardust that I can use. Because, wait, we are really lucky. <gasps> no way! Just like that? Just like that? No way! Oh, we got Amber! That's really good! Yo, we're out! We're done! We don't need to do that anymore! Initially, I just wanted to just grab the weapon and I was willing to go all the way, but then I realized I want the next character to come along the wish banners guaranteed because I, I lost my last 50-50, so my next one is a guaranteed banner character. I was like, hey, I'll just get the Dragon Sovereign of Let and I need to have as many gems as possible and maybe even the Arlecchino, right? The only thing with this banner is that you have to use intertwined fate. I don't know why that's the case, but it is. Oh, I was definitely in a dilemma, but I didn't want to stop because I want my future Dia, which by the way, I still do not have and has eluded me for a year now, to be absolutely decked out once she arrived. Plus, her claymore is just generally good, so I could use it on any other claymore character if I really wanted to. I also cannot get this specific claymore on any other banner anymore because she's in the standard banner now. Same goes for uh, Tenari's weapon as well. This banner has a lot of potential to be good, but also a lot of potential to just be useless, as it already is in the standard banner. Like it, it pretty much is the standard banner. It just has some extra, you know, few characters, few weapons with extra steps, right? And it costs your precious intertwined fate. Actually wish on this banner, which is just not optimal. You might as well ignore this banner completely if they're not going to let you get anything you want. And what, what what's the use of that? I, I just don't understand. Having characters that people actually want 
is it's rare it's rare for a game like this apparently you just want to have characters that are actually you know people want them and put them into this banner and characters that haven't been seen in a while that's how this banner is actually going to be of any use not only is this a little silly genshin just has to realize that they pretty much made a standard banner have to use your premium currency on and if you lose your 50 50 Sure, it's fine, you get a chance on getting Jean, D Luke, whoever in this manner. But if you make it if they are part of the banner, that just defeats the purpose of it completely. You want to lose 50 50 on other characters, like for example, Albedo. You if you want to get Albedo, you lose 50 50, you get Yula. That's what you want. Because it's different. It's not the same as the standard banner. That's just, I feel like that's a little crazy to me. And the way that you can actually pick standard banner 5 star characters like Jean, Mona, it's just a waste of space. If I had to take a step back and look, look at it from like a general perspective, I see Mondstadt characters right now within this banner. Perhaps there is a Mondstadt theme going on with this one. So maybe, just maybe, on the next one, we might see a Liyue Chronicle Wish that you know, would feature Liyue characters like maybe Ayaka, which we do not want, okay? We've had Ayaka for like 120 days on a banner at one point. We've had uh, Ayato. We've had um, whoever else is in Azuma that we haven't seen in a while. You, you could just add them in there, okay? That, that would be, be pretty good if they actually had a rotation like that. So after that would be Sumeru and then Fontaine. That would be practical in that case however that also means that characters you would want to take or would you want to get would actually take multiple patches and patches to get and the purpose would still not be fulfilled for a third man. in any case i got the weapon i wanted within 21 pulls which is absolutely amazing you will be absolutely thrilled and decked out when i lose a 50 50 and she comes home and it will be a while but for now i'm going to be pretty happy with what i got and i cannot wait to summon my next character soon dia i am coming for you i'm coming for you